talking about uterine fibroids. So to put you into the geography of the area, here is the uh, uterus with the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, uh, leading to the outside world. Why are we talking about uterine fibroids? Well, because they are so common. I bet you, and I'm not asking for a show of hands, that somebody here either has fibroids or somebody in their family has fibroids. So 25 to 50 percent of all women will eventually have fibroids. They're usually diagnosed in the 30s to the 40s. They're the most common tumor of the pelvis in females, and about 10 percent to 30 percent of patients are symptomatic. And the symptoms can be pretty unpleasant. Who gets fibroids? Well, you'd guess as you get older, you get it. I mean, isn't that what aging's about? You get older, you get it. 20% of women in their 20s, 40% of the women who get to 40 will have fibroids. There is a genetic predisposition, so if your sister or your mother has it, you might be more likely. African-American women are at a risk nine times higher than anybody else, and there are familial tendencies. And as with so many things, we don't know the exact cause of what gives you fibroids. They're benign tumors. They arise from smooth muscle. They're not thought of as precancerous. Other names that you might see around are myomas or lyomomas. So most fibroids, luckily, do not cause symptoms and are not treated. So when you have symptoms, most people are going to start with drug therapy, and the drug therapy that people are going to get is birth control pills and anti-inflammatories. So that's going to be the first line of therapy. If that doesn't work, then you're going to have to go on to some more invasive therapy. So you can have a myomectomy in which the gynecologist, the surgeon, will go in and actually cut the myoma or the fibroid out of the uterus and you will retain your uterus. The next step, if he or she cannot remove the myoma or the fibroid, you'll go to a hysterectomy, which is a much more radical procedure in which the whole organ is removed. And then you'll come to the option that we are, have to offer, which is called uterine artery embolization, UAE, or sometimes called uterine fibroid embolization, so UFE. So here we go, the interventional radiologist. We make a little nick in the groin and insert a catheter. You've seen the catheter up into the artery and then down into the particular artery that supplies the uterus. And there's a picture of people watching what's happening. Those are the arteries of the pelvis. After getting the catheter in position, we inject some little plastic particles which block the supply of blood to the uterus, and the tumor or tumors will shrink.